What? What, my son? What is it? Oh, let's see if y'all can hear me today. If you can hear me, then you can hear this whiny little boy. What's the problem, Beans? What? What do you want to talk about? Do you want to talk about something? Like what? Let's discuss. What can I help you with? Hey, Prosperity. Hey, someone's here. Just hey, everyone in the group. This little guy has been the whiny, whiny, whiniest little fluff face ever invented of all the fluffies. And you will hear him tonight, I'm sure, just wanting all the attention. Go lay down. Lisa, you are just a whole new record. Right. I know it. I just know it, Bowie Beans. But we can't talk about anything right now because I have stuff to do, Bowie. He's just the chatteriest one right now. I'm not really sure why. Oops. All right, let me see if I can find you guys. One hundred percent. Oh no, it's just a mermaid. No, no wine for you. He is a full blooded, one hundred percent needy baby. I had to carry him around in the sling today because he was so in need and incessant on having all of the attention right now. Thank you very much. giving him all of the little chewy chew things ever invented he'll give me a little bit of a break so that I can art for you guys apparently that's a no I would put Jeff on daddy duty but he is finishing a commission in the other filming area so it's just me. Oh, I wanted to show you guys what the painting from yesterday looked like. Please hold.
So, really pumped about how this turned out. Well, I just started. No worries if you just got the notification and it's pretty accurate today. I'm glad you have had a good day, baby cakes. Mine has been less than amazing. Amanda was supposed to come over and help today and instead she informed me that she can't commit to specific days anymore because life is crazy. I knew would happen at some point, but right before I go out of town is not the best time to do that. And then my dog sitter, Tressa, informed me that she has to work 12 hours a day, two of the days that I'm going to be out of town, so can't watch the boys, so I'm scrambling trying to find a new sitter. And, yeah, that's, that's where I'm at today. When it rains, it pours, eh? But I'm not here to make y'all's day less than amazing. I'm here to make your day more amazing. So excited for you, Lisa. Sandy, I will ask Jeff about that for that part of the trip, but going to Oregon in the morning, so can't take them on that flight. I don't even have their paperwork together for that. No worries, happy. On the bright side, this piece is looking amazing. I love it. Never mind the fingerprints. I didn't, I forgot that this like smoky part here had like the glitter in it. Where are you? Nope. Yep. Because I put the um, bling it in there. So. My smoke is sparkly all the way around. How emerging. All of my awesome fingerprints through here. So that's awesome. Besides that, though, I mean, I'll get the fingerprints off. I am beyond elated at how this piece turned out. 100%. Now I just want to display it, but I don't know when, where. Right, Joe? The backing is super fun to pick off. And if you guys haven't tried one of our clear rounds, um, you can peel off stuff from the sides. And ultimately, if you try hard enough, you could probably peel it off the top. I just don't recommend it. You could use it as a wall um, display or a place setting, or you can get those standoff things to put it on a wall and mount it. Oh, right, I like the way it outlined the white as well. Purples are my favorite too. Okay, moving on. I did do the Uh, borax crystals and they turned out awesome so I did more today I haven't opened these yet so basically you boil water put more borax in the water than the water can hold and then you cover it and dangle something in it 
And then it um, grows crystals. I have apparently not left enough room for this particular crystal to let go of the edges. So I don't know how I'm gonna get that one out, but I'll worry about that later. Too much stuff to worry about today. Sandy, um, I am bringing you a 40 as well as someone else requested three of the 40s. So that's all the 40s I have in stock. So I put this one in at about two o'clock today. have done that if I tried nailed it it's the best part of my day right there so I'm trying to make the inside of geodes so that I can like just like insert this in between my free form and like do the deal around it so that's where I'm at, and I think it's working pretty well. I haven't done a test to see how it works under resin, but Jen, who has done everything all the time, every time, says it'll do fine under resin. So if you guys would like, I can do a video on how I grew this in six hours from just a pipe cleaner and borax and water and a little piece of string or metal or whatever you can use to hang it into your water. So it'll make like an awesome ornament. Or for me, I wanted to make the inside of a geode. So I don't know if you guys have it, the stuff in um, Australia, I have never looked but it's borax, which is like a detergent. I ordered mine off Amazon, it's not expensive. But you boil water, put it in a glass jar, add more borax than the water can hold by just stirring it in and letting it dissolve until it doesn't dissolve into the hot water anymore. Drop something in it that's rough or um, just not super smooth. I tried it with just resin um, like mold things that were apparently too smooth for the crystals to grab a hold of. And um, a few hours later, pop out a crystal. You can also add food coloring. And um, I did one with the Color Obsession tints to see if they would work. And I will let you guys know how that turned out. You can definitely add color. Oh, thanks, Laura. Anyways, I will do a video on that tonight so that I can post it while we are in transit manana. Wish I could get this one out. I made a flower. I'll have to pry it out with something later. I'll just let it continue to grow. And I think if I take the thing out boil the water again with all the borax still in it. You can see how it's trying to collect on the side of this glass jar. I hope. I'm trying to like show you without tipping all this water out. These are all just borax crystals collecting on the edge. Right, Linda? That's exactly what I used was the 20 Mule Team Borax. Okay. I have my wine onto the show. Tink. Um. I'm sure you can get borax. It's just um, like a detergent additive for like cleaning your like laundry.
Um, I'll show you the box so that you guys know. So this is what the box looks like. Probably in the laundry detergent area. It's a detergent booster. But I will do a full video on how that worked. This is one of the ones that I did with um, Bondi Blue Color. But um, I put spray paint on the back of it to make it more geody. And I hit it with a little bit of heat so it kind of dulled some of the areas you can see where it's whited out a little bit and some of these edges but it's still pretty but just don't use a heat gun on it because it's very sensitive to it have a great night at work Lord Taylor Um, Monica, I'm going to test and see if I can make silicone molds from them, actually. Because it would be awesome to design my own druzy shapes that way, you know? So, on to actual arting for the day. I'm going to test. some colors together and do a larger one if time permits. Have a great day, Lisa. So I'm using a heavy Yupo. Um, the reason why I'm using heavy is because it's least likely to bend and fold and warp because I am someone that uses a lot of heat on my alcohol ink. And so I have to be sensitive to that. Oh, extreme close up. Let me just zoom in a little. studying a little bit on different techniques with alcohol inks, you know, in my spare time. And I'm hoping to get better at it, so I'm going to go back to small scale for just like a minute and see if it works that size and then figure it out from there, you know? So I'm going to put my heat on half halfway also this table's not level so that's fun <sighs> I'll ever have those days where it doesn't matter what you want to do because everything is just going to do what it wants to do that's my day. Oh yeah, that borax is not expensive at all. So I'm adding some, I can't remember what it's called, the rainbow from Marabou. It's my favorite color from their line. And I really want to work on getting my fades. Because right now, like, all of my stuff is really heavy. 
So that's kind of what I want to work on today. So far, it looks like um, I'm going to have to really work on this to get an actual fade, but that's fine. I don't mind working for what I want. Especially out of my artwork. Thank you for that, Nene. Not every day is an easy fly through it day and that is perfectly fine. Just have to learn to roll with the punches. It's just been a it's been a hot minute since I had to roll with punches I couldn't control. Today is one of those. Very true, happy. So it looks like there's still a little bit too much humidity in the air since I'm getting this coagulated look here. Hope you guys can see that. This dark rim. It's not really bad. It's just a little bit of this dark bubbling. So I'm going to turn my piece this way since I know that uh, my table drips this way. And from what I've seen, this is how people do it. They do like a design. And then they, um, well, they don't blow ink onto their piece from the table, but they just add ink. Nope, they add alcohol to fade it out in the fadey outy part. Fadey outy is technical term. So there. Maybe I won't go that way again, I'll go this way. I'm just going to pick up some ink and let it fade out. The only thing I can't figure out is it gives me new lines and I don't want that. I just don't want it. Also, it would probably help if I got something more controllable than just this big ketchup bottle. A lot of people use, oh, I think I have some of those. I'm gonna go get one. I have some of these fine tip squirty doodads. Courtesy Judy. Thank you, thank you. I'm just going to put the alcohol in here. And hopefully I'll be able to control how much comes out. In theory. Yeah, I do need one of those embossing heat guns. But till then... work with what I got. It's 
So I also like that look that's like it's splashed off as well. So maybe I can get some of those going. Yeah, I know a lot of people work with their heat guns turned all the way down. I just... doesn't dry fast enough for me that way. <laughs> Impatience. It's, um, it's a struggle I live with every day. Well, that's not cute. Spider legs I got going on right here. Maybe that'll be better since I like saturated the whole area. That's awesome, Diane. What, Bowie? So that's a little bit better of like a subtle fade, but... Not by much. Okay, I have a new idea. So I'm gonna put this aside. Try this. As much as possible. Is there a particular side of this that's better than the other? I have no idea. I'm gonna start smaller, see how that goes. I say that as I continue to add ink and color and things. There's always room for more sparkle. Glitter is always an option. Okay. Maybe if I get a nice design in the center, I can control it a little bit more going outward in theory always just a theory. I find I can control it better if I hold the piece of paper. Do you guys do that or do you lay it flat when you work on your paper?
Nay, nay, that happened to me and I just cut off more of the tip. So that's why it's a little bit shorter. All right. Seeing people do this. Let's see if it works. Why does it collect on this edge? Rude. I'll just have to clean it up later. So that's not bad. It almost looks like smoke. So I'm going to add a little bit here. <laughs> it's like some kind of Star Wars-esque robot alien. But let's keep going. both look smoky and then that last one on the end was like no nah, I'm gonna be a leg That can't be how people do this. Okay. I'm gonna try a couple more areas and then I'm gonna attempt to do a flower. Um, the sparkly ink is by Marabou and it's called Rainbow, very appropriately named. just giving my slug a mohawk. Hope you don't mind. That's what I was thinking. I'll just come back to this guy. I'm gonna do a flower. I watched um, 
Saskia do a flower, and now I want to do a flower. Yes, it is by Marabu. Here is a close-up of the name. If it's going to focus. No, nope. left, right. Where am I? Up. There's a delay on my camera. I guess I could have just told you M A R A B U. Go lay down. All right. I watched her do her magic. But I was only half listening because I had attention deficit. So I'm going to try to make something awesome. Already I have extra splatter, so that's fun. been too big of a petal. May have gotten a little overzealous. I think I got a little bit crazy with it. I guess you're supposed to go back and do some of those parts over. But that looks fine. Good so far. Dry my puddle first. Oh, well, I guess it's almost dry now. It's looking like a galactic flower at this point. You guys haven't watched Saskia's videos. I don't know what you're doing with your life. She's brilliant. I'm gonna push some of that ink back down just a little bit. I don't know why. I just felt like I needed to. Probably not the best idea, but I did. best when you like do bigger puddles
Wow. Might possibly be one of my favorite pieces by the end. I don't want to like shoot myself in the foot here. But I'm loving how it looks so far. learning alongside you guys because you guys always have great information for me, things that I wouldn't have known without you. Bye, Joe. Once puddles dry, angle gun towards you. Uh, I think I know what you're saying, Diane. I saw her do this, but I wasn't sure why it was so. I'm also not sure if she adds any more when she has like her first round of petals. Yes, this is on heavy UFO. Oh yeah, I know Claire has some really good videos on this too. I need to take a day off from creating one day, you know, in my spare time. And just catch up on all you lovely ladies' and gentlemen's art videos. You guys do some amazing, amazing things. And I love learning from you guys too. Um, Heidi Saskia gave me this uh, inspiration, and hers is way better than mine. Pretty sure her last name is Smith, S M I T, and it's like Rob and Saskia. 
maybe is the channel name. I really should do more homework before I name drop people so I know exactly what I'm talking about. I'll do better. I promise y'all I'll do better. Um, it may be that my larger heat gun is drying it too fast in comparison. I'll have to try it with an airbrush, but Jeff is using his airbrush right now, I think so. Yeah, Doris, if you want to, you can go ahead and link her channel. You know, it's not as good as hers, for sure, for sure, for sure. Um, but I'm really excited about how it's going so far. Although I'm not sure where I'm gonna go with it once I get these initial petals done on my space flower. I have not tried using a straw. All of my straws currently have borax on them. You and Jeff always been artists. So Jeff has always been an artist and I have always enjoyed drawing as well. He actually has always been a professional artist in some um, aspect or another, some capacity of some sort. Um, I actually, after graduating college, took up my um, business degree So I was in hospitality sales for seven years after college. I wonder if this will mess it up. We're just gonna find out together, shall we? We shall. Of course, Abby. Bye, Janine. I like that one. Thank you, Diane. I was actually really nervous to try it, but I wanted to be true to the channel and only try things live, you know? It's not working out too shabby if I do stay on the silk.
Ugh. Gotta pick that up before Bowie finds those, because he um, is really good at chewing on everything he's not supposed to. It's a talent, it's a gift and a curse of his. I find that a lot of my colors are kind of blending in a little of a lot. Like, maybe I want to add something. What color? Maybe teal? What is this? Marine green. Yeah. Have turquoise. Try adding that in here. Heidi, I'm still trying to narrow down the details for the meet and greet in Colorado Springs, but I should have that sooner than later. if that makes a difference. This is the area with the biggest part, so let's start there. All right, so far there's zero difference. be because most of that turquoise is not in this area so um we'll just try it through here There's no. That made zero difference. I feel like if I add a yellow, it'll just be too much. What do y'all think? Add a yellow, leave it as is. so much Don. I always like adding these like flecks of color. Y'all may not love it, but that's what it's one of the things I like about watercolor and alcohol ink. Could be just me. If it is, that's fine. All right, I'm gonna try it again. But with different colors. 
I think I'm gonna try just like yellow, maybe a yellow and teal, maybe yellow in this um, dark peacock blue color. Which may also turn it some weird funky green. Thanks y'all. Yep, weird funky green it is. It's fine, I'll just add more blue than not blue. Hopefully, I didn't just make the grossest color ever invented. If I did, then y'all will know not to do that. All right, it's not the grossest color, but that just didn't work as a petal. Have to make them wider, right? I believe so. I'm gonna get an alcohol rag ready to clean up these funky participles. Promise this is my first glass of wine. No. It looks like maybe I'm just doing this for like background color and then I'm gonna like put an awesome color on top of it. But I don't know how to do that. So we're gonna have to, um, figure that out. Thank you, Shaz. That might be exactly what I was just trying to explain. I love having the ability to like fold the color and kind of control how the ink dries. Sometimes I feel like that's the only thing I can control about alcohol ink. And by sometimes I mean all the time. All the time I feel that way. Annette, I will do a demo on the borax crystals. That just made it like Toxic green color to sign. Hope I get to paint with Saskia one day. I feel like she's pretty awesome. Thank you, Sandy. So I added a dot of yellow just on the outside to see what it would do. And I did get a pretty nice fade.
I have done alcohol ink on coasters. I believe I have a couple of different videos on it. I'll just have to link it at some point for y'all. I'm gonna try that yellow dot situation again just there. Okay, I like how that looks. I love working with resin and the colors are always so vibrant, but you really can't beat the vibrancy of alcohol and colors, I'm pretty sure. jealous one. I'm going to try that little addition thing with this teal-y turquoise -y color. Kind of works. The only problem with adding the color like that is you kind of move outside of and away from your center area. So now it looks like I stepped on a flower and squished it like a bug rather than having that central point that you're growing from. No worries, Angela. We will, um, we'll be back down. Hey, Ginger. Hey, Sean. We'll definitely be back down. We had an amazing time in Florida. I'm kind of trying to wipe these like drips off under this um, rag here as I go so I don't have to do so much cleanup later. Oh, that's not dry all the way. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm literally, as I go, just hoping that this time adding ink doesn't ruin what I already have down. Like with every bit of alcohol I'm adding, I'm like, improve it, don't detract. Improve it, don't detract. So far, it's not been a bad, like, way of doing it, but you never know. There's always that one that's ready to mess it up.
Some of my petals look more like smoke than actual petals. Which I'm half fine with. Sean, so the deal with inks fading is I feel like I heard that that's mostly when you drop them into alcohol inks. I mean, obviously, it, it may fade over time just like this as well. So I'm not 100% on the science of it. I'm working on learning all that stuff. We'll see. <laughs> it's kind of like I squished a bug. But still floral. Yeah, you definitely need to seal it before you um, add resin because it'll fade. So having this little rag tip here has been actually an awesome idea. So I don't have that odd border of color. Just letting that collect the ink as it rolls off. Wunderbar. I'm trying to like amend the areas that look more like smoke than petals. I don't know if that's possible, but I'm going to do my best. To fill in these areas. It's so difficult because it's kind of like with resin. It's like, I like this area and I don't want to mess with it, but also I want to fix it. The struggle, she is real. Yep, should have been doing this rag tip thing all along.
I'm going to do a few more drops with this color palette and then I'm, I might try to add something else. I don't know. I'll see what y'all think as I go. I just feel like this gray, green, nope, blue, green, and yellow maybe isn't everything it could be. And I would just love to make it better version of what it is. Hopefully without like risking it actually changing. I just have to be careful of what color I add because you don't want to add something that's going to really turn whatever you have here into a crappy brown color. So you have to consider what you have and whether the color that you're trying to add will make poopy brown color or something better. So you really don't want to go opposite the color wheel, which is difficult because the colors that are represented here is like a fourth. Maybe I'll add gold as an accent, but before that I would love to add just some other um, accentuating color. I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking wrong about it. What do y'all think? I need to know. So where do I go from here? What do y'all think? Y'all say gold, but I can't use that with, what is it that doesn't work with gold? It works with alcohol, so that'd be fine, right? All right, so. Angela, I think the purple that's on the table might make, like if it mixes with the yellow, it's gonna make a funky brown as well as with the green. So I might just try the gold. going to spray it on this area because it's what I like. Is 
just sprayed that all over my phone, but that's fine because it didn't get in the wine. So I'll let that dry while I'm working on this one. Thank you, Angela. All right. Don't know how this is gonna work, but we're gonna experiment together, right? Right. I'm gonna put some more blue down too. Because why not? while that's setting, pink. All right, where's my thing? Fill her up. close one. Where's the cap? What did I do with it? Okay. What kind of disappearing act? So the gold kind of disappeared. Um, kind of disappeared. What's up? Hey. Um, that thing today? In a sister woman? Mm -hmm. There was um, one of the listeners selling one of the pieces. Cool. One of our, one of the fam was there. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. Oh, is that hot? Mm, that's just where he keeps it. I mean, he was like up in, like, like all the way up in. Yeah, It does look pretty in the center, so I'm not disappointed in it being there at all. I'm just surprised it kind of doesn't do anything. You know? I kind of feel like I should have added a larger one and dropped color on it so that it kind of lightning bolted out like it, it is here. I guess I'm gonna add maybe one here and one here and then call it on this one.
All right. I'm gonna do a purple splatter on this one. Some eggplant. Maybe I should have used a pink instead. Not mad. All right, last one. Thank you, Doris. Let's do red and pink. I mean, red and yellow. And gold. I'm going to put the gold in here first. I bet if I offset that, it would look better. Thank you, Lisa. I'm too impatient for this part. All right. Dry enough for me. wasn't ready with my tip. That's pretty color. All right, moving on. Hi, Elena, how have you been?
That one just went straight pink, which is fine. So abstracty. I'm gonna make a flower. Oh, that's fun. I like that. In theory, I'm making a flower. So I recorded like 20 minutes of black screen. That's fun. Why'd you do that? Because I had it on. You didn't switch it? Yeah. I didn't. Because I saw one and I thought, okay. Oh, that's a good angle, but it was the left side. Mm -hmm. It wasn't on live. What's everybody doing tonight? Wait till that puddle is dry in the middle and it shows. It does kind of look like a starfish, doesn't it? thing ready and it shows would have been a pretty petal oh there you go I'll have to go back and clean that part a little later
this one, I don't want to jinx myself, but might end up looking more floral than any of the other ones. But I probably just jinxed myself. But in the meantime, I'm going to enjoy it. Boys, we're going to have to chill for a minute. I'm not ready. We've got a little bit more filming to do, boys. It's so amazing how you can, like, put a whole bunch of colors into a puddle. And every color or every petal that comes out of it is a different shade. Wetty interesting, wetty wetty. That's a fun looking one. Yes, they do, Sandy. Yes, they do. I think like moving forward, I'm going to do like smaller dots of color or work on a bigger piece of paper because I want it to not go all the way to the edges, ideally. That's something I'm going to work on next time I do one of these guys. Thank you, baby cakes. Thank you very much. I'm sure there's plenty of ways to do this better and more refined and beautiful, but I am not going to beat myself up over this. Not really first time, because I did how many before this? I don't even know. So I ain't even mad at it. say having this rag pick up the drips on the edge um, makes a difference. 
for sure. My gold has all but completely disappeared though. So yeah. I guess I'm just going to dab some of this turquoise in the center. Some of this glittery rainbow from Marabu. I'll try to make the, what is that little pollen-y part called? I can't remember, but that's what I'm doing right now. Nurse calls. How have you been? I can deal with that. That's awesome, nurse calls. Good luck. Thank you, Diane. I think my splash of color will be aqua. Hey, Clara. Thank you, Annette. Not mad at it at all, in the least, even a little bit. So to recap, I have some learning to do with um, alcohol inks. I'm going to be doing a tutorial for you guys on the something, the borax crystals. And I need to practice my flowers and watch more Clara videos slash Saskia videos. I'm sure my night will get better. And so yeah, here's the borax crystal. Hey, Missy. Claire, I'm gonna have to check those out. Anyways, you guys, you just let me know when nurse calls. Boys.
Um, hope you all enjoyed it or learned something or enjoyed it or learned something. I got to take these boys out because they're about to get um, extra. And if um, you have any questions, please leave it in the comments below or send me an email. Bowie. Enough. Um, be kind to one another. You never know what someone's going through. And I will see you guys uh, next time. Till then. Bye. That's it, bye.